uh, project. Um, we are a little bit uh, like uh, what you're talking about. Uh, we're cautious, we're sitting on the fence, we're making uh, opportunistic uh, acquisitions where it's creative to what we already have to try and build uh, inventory in the ground. Uh, hopefully in the future we can make money out of it. Um, it is uh, faster, cheaper than exploring. Uh, it's more certain than exploring because you can do due diligence, you can find out if it's really there or if it's just a dream and you go out drilling and spending a lot of money. Um, and so we are trying to uh, expand and diversify and consolidate. Uh, this, this shows you what we're really doing. We're focused on mining friendly jurisdictions. Uh, we are <coughs> diversifying geographically. Uh, we are diversifying in, in commodities uh, and trying to get uh, diversification in our single profit uh, sites so that we've got multiple uh, profit sites and um, we, uh, we are strengthening our balance sheet. Uh, fortunately in the last two years we took the decision to uh, remove all debt from our balance sheet. Uh, we've got a pretty good balance sheet, 250 US million uh, net. Um, and we're running about, uh, as at uh, yesterday, about 26 million in the bank cash. No obligation. Uh, we are located in Malaysia and in Western Australia. Western Australia is the first step in diversifying country risk. And we've been acquiring a few things down there, and we're now trying to put them, uh, move them towards production. Uh, going back to our first asset, uh, this asset has been uh, a really good one for us, uh, Salancing Gold Mine. Uh, you can see there the pit, you can see the plant, uh, you can see the two different colours on the tank farm there. Uh, the uh, lighter green is the first stage of the plant that we built, and the second stage we built out of production uh, cash, and uh, that was about 8.6 million and that ramped us up to a million tonne a year capacity, all done internal cash flow. Uh, this is the potential, uh, we have a, a good land position in, in Salancing, one of the first things we, we did when we went there uh, a lot of years ago, is we grabbed a, a good land position and we, some, we have something like 35,000 acres of exploration land uh, within economic haulage distance of the mine and the plant. Uh, our key performance indicators are pretty good. Uh, we have uh, an average of project to date of 400 uh, per ounce cash cost. Uh, we've produced about 215,000 uh, ounces so far, I think. It's hard to read sideways. And uh, we've produced about, uh, well, in fact, we've exceeded 300 million US cash flow uh, since the beginning of the project. One of the things we've done is, um, as we develop uh, not just balancing but other projects, uh, we'll get into uh, deeper, deeper ore. Some of that is uh, transitional, some of it is sulphide, uh, some of it is leachable sulphide, which is a bit tricky. Uh, and confusing for the geos, especially the pit geos, and uh, that needs to be handled. So we've, uh, we've embarked on, uh, uh, it's a risk, sure, but the, uh, the, the capex is a lot cheaper if we can get Intech uh, proven. It's not proven yet, the jury is out. Uh, we've duplicated the work on the bench. Uh, we are now building a pilot plant which is going to cost us under a million dollars. Uh, that will prove the continuous process, it won't prove scale-up. It's a very small uh, pilot plant, about 100 kilos a day, 24 hour a day. Uh, and, and the next step, once we get through that, if that can be made to work successfully, and uh, we've got reason to believe that it will, uh, then we will build a small-scale demo plant, which will run around 10,000 tonnes of con uh, in, a, in a full year. So that will prove scale-up, it's about a 300 to 1 jump. Uh, so it will let us know that this uh, 
appears to work. Then we will cautiously uh, do a bolt-on intake plant to our main plant because we're trying to leverage on the investment that we've got, the trained workforce that we've got, and, and make that work for us. Uh, this is a, a shot of uh, the Intech plant in Burnie. This operated for about seven plus years, uh, so it, it's real. Uh, it did produce, and I can talk later to people privately, uh, it did produce copper. Uh, it produced grade A copper, 99.99% uh, pure. Uh, so it, it does work, and there's a, at least one plant in the US using that commercially. The Murchison Gold Project, uh, we bought that from the administrator. Uh, we bought that for 15 million cash. The, um, the fact that uh, you know they spent 30 million doing up the mill and they spent a lot of money, it's a big uh, village for uh, accommodation. It'll accommodate 118 people. Some of it has never been slept in uh, before they went into administration. So we've scooped all of that and we're now proving up uh, the, uh, the resource, which, which wasn't proved, it's not 43101 compliant, but we will put out a resource statement by the end of March. We'll put out a news release, we're now gonna mirror that with about a 200 page 43101, which will uh, give everybody some interesting stuff to read. This is the, the area that we're in, in Western Australia. It's a very prospective area. It's got a history of uh, uh, eight or 10 million uh, ounce plus producers. Some of them uh, six, seven, eight, nine million ounces. So it's prospective, but historically the industry's gone along, taken off the oxide cap, and they've left down with a bag of money and an environmental mess. So we're, we're looking at uh, uh, going in there and dealing drilling some deeper holes and the West Australian Mines Department has actually got a cash subsidy for deep holes. So a mining company recently got uh, out of a $120,000 uh, $120, cost of the hole, the West Australian Mines Department contributed 93000 to that. So it's, it's not a bad pop up. Uh, this is the list of pits that uh, are at uh, Bernacarra. Uh, and the, the two that you can see of Alliance and New Alliance, uh, we've increased the uh, indicated category there and, and the confidence to 43.1 compliance standard by 90%. So it's a big improvement. Uh, that's just a shot of the main plant and the, the heat leach uh, arrangement at, at the front end of the plant which we, we're overhauling. Uh, this is the resource at, at uh, Burn Carra uh, at the Alliance and New Alliance pit. Uh, there are copies of this uh, posted on our website, and uh, uh, I think Richard's got a couple of packages at the back that uh, he can give you a hard copy. Uh, the Mega Pure Poly Metallic uh, project, uh, it, it is mirroring, we put that on care and maintenance, it's mirroring what Ken said. Iron ore prices are in the dumps, uh, copper has been lower. Uh, but Intech will produce that sort of copper that I talked about, LME grain. So that's pretty interesting and uh, uh, we may be able to emulate that in the future. Um, so our, our deliverables for, um, for this coming year, we're focused on diversifying our portfolio and building assets in the ground. We're trying to expand uh, production and keep costs down. Uh, we are um, trying to show the market that we have sustainable gold production, and that means building an inventory of ounces in the ground. Uh, we're using the intech uh, technology to try and prove that it really works, which will be great if it does. Um, we are uh, trying to improve the, the uh, sustainability and the demonstrated uh, uh, ability to, to produce economically. Um, and we're trying to better understand the geology at Salensing and at uh, Murchison. So I think my time is up. There's our share price, which is not flash. Uh, I think we're trading at around nine cents today, 30 million uh, market cap roughly. Uh, we'll, we'll
we've got to just about that much cash in the bank. So, and I think that's a, a fairly indicative of the uh, small miners these days. Thanks very much. Thank you very much. Can we please give a round of applause?